What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, Season 3. The rocket that we built in the last episode and sent off is still where it is, and we only have one rocket platform currently, though. They're not actually that difficult to build. But we are going to throw together a, another one, because why not? Plus, we can use this to go elsewhere should we discover anywhere to go. Currently, all, all we have on the star map, though, is... Our current asteroid, the asteroid that we teleport or can teleport to that we've now flown to and uh, an asteroid that we can't fly to but we can drill if we have a drill call which we're nowhere near. So just getting another one ready won't hurt. Now I am going to add into it the trouble dizer thing. I can't remember how you pronounce that but the thing that allows you to get down to the surface though you can't get back up from the surface. Uh, maybe a rover because rovers can do things without killing people that's very good. I could do with actually trying to chuck the biggest rocket I can that's just full of rovers. It needs one pilot, and then just fill it full of rovers. There, by the way, is the end of the map, or at least what appears to be the end of the map. There's a weird gap. I'm not sure what that is about. We will get out there because there is resources in there that we want as well as going up as well. All of that needs to be dug out. I want to get all of the resources that we have to our... Yeah, I can't think of a fancy word to say. So all of the resources that we have that we can use, I want to collect them all. You can see there's a bit of heat on there, but the cooling system is working correctly. Uh, and again, that's providing us with some energy as well. Free energy, I might add. While the rocket is being, the new rocket is being built, and there's no real reason to use it as of yet, uh, I am going to throw in a, another landing station with some steel ladders and the obvious platform, just so that if there is an emergency on that planet, on the asteroid we're currently on, and we do need to bring them back, we have somewhere to land. Now, technically, we could have done that while they're flying back, but it just makes more sense to actually have an infrastructure set up correctly. Also, going to put some ladders in to get to the top of that room that we actually transport tube into, because the top of that we can use, hopefully, for something as well. Now, you have noticed the tiles have now been replaced for bunker tiles. That does use a decent amount of steel, but they are not going to be damaged by the meteors moving forward. Now, you can use the bunker doors as well so that you can basically make silos where it's fully protected until you want to open them. And I'm going to give that a go, I think. It sounds fun. Uh, I'm not sure if they're big enough to let the rockets through, though, so I may have to see if there's a mod to get some bigger bunker doors. We'll see. At the minute, I'm looking for mods for bigger bunker doors then, and the other one that I've mentioned that I've still not looked for is to make larger rocket capsules. So you can have, like, proper bedrooms and, like, interplanetary-sized living quarters. So you can basically have one, one rocket fly around the entirety of space with enough oxygen and food and water, etc., to just keep the duplicate or duplicates alive for that whole, whole process. Seems the meteors landed there and made a restriction on the satellite. I'm not sure if that's going to stop it working, because I think it's finished anyway. Also still working on the ladders there below the bunker tiles, because I am going to put a layer of lead below all of that uh, base platform the idea is by the end the regolith and all of the resources will be finished and the whole top of the map will just be a bunker tile with some lead below it to protect everything below from radiation nothing else then should exist any meteors that do come down will leave resources behind but they will not do any damage because of course the bunker tile will restrict it and then hopefully some silos to allow us to have rockets uh, scanners but the scanners once have finished have done forever so they won't stay but we will need the interplanetary delivery system that fires the capsules that can be under a silo and the rocket station that speeds up your rocket flight times by I think 20% also needs to be visible to the sky um, and again you can do that with glass 
It does work, but I, I'm pretty confident that glass is not going to survive the meteor strikes. Though we could just go with the meteor guns that shoot them out of the sky and then we wouldn't need to have bunkers. But I like the idea of bunkers. I might just do it for the rockets. So back at asteroid number two and the guys are slowly working on what we want them to. Um, there is something strange happening now. The pressures are extreme or they are growing. Um, I'm not sure. The oxygen could be high because we're pumping it in. That makes sense. But the vents are currently blocked. But the carbon dioxide is growing and I'm not sure why. It's not just from f five duplicates breathing. That's for sure. Um, so I'm not sure where that pressure is coming from. But we don't want to let that get much higher because it will just cause them to have pop tear drums all the time and then they'll be just sad all the time there's still a lot of digging to do and digging through ethanol and various other things it's not going to be very pleasant so i want to try and keep them as happy as possible and that's not going to be possible if we have some random gas pressures i don't know why he went down the ladders to come back up the ladders to fit yeah to build them ladders answers on a postcard as to why that person did that and then they're going to go up and what? Use the teleport? No. There's a lot of plastic all over the floor as well. What did I deconstruct? I can't remember. Did I use plastic? I can't remember if I tried to use plastic tiles and then change my mind for bunker tiles. Though plastic tiles are fantastic for radiation shielding as well. Um, but we do actually have more lead than we do plastic. So it makes more sense to, to do it that way. Looking at the base now, the automation over here for this clean room. This clean room is the room that dumps all of our polluted oxygen we collect. It then gets converted uh, by the filters into clean oxygen. That clean oxygen is then sent back into the base. Now, the clay that is created from that process is automatically picked up and sent to base. And the sand that is used that turns into the clay is sent in automatically as well. Now that bottom one seems to be bogged down. I believe that's, yeah, it's, it's canned at pressure because there is 50 kilos. This room is extremely high pressured. I'm surprised the walls aren't blowing out, actually. You're talking 50, anywhere from 20 to 50 kilos per tile, which is, I mean, it, that would kill a duplicate for sure. But they've got atmosphere suits on, which is the whole point. They can't get out of the base without having an atmosphere suit on. But the fact that the high pressure thing there is is blocked shows how pressurized it is. Now, realistically, the I'm not sure why the pressure's not dropping any quicker because there's not really anything coming in. Look, that tiny little bit from the top there is coming in because that's what we're collecting. There is no more. I've, I've all of the pressure that sorry, all of the polluted oxygen that exists that we stored is in this room or already been cleaned. So, a bit strange. But it's still working, and of course it'll only let the clean oxygen out. The polluted will just keep remaining in there. I could build more of the filters, but to be honest, it's not going to help that much more. Because they only kind of grab one or two squares away from them. So you'd have to build many, many more to make a difference. And we're not struggling for oxygen. This is a passive process just to keep any polluted oxygen cleaned. All we need to do is get that bottom one running. And by running, I mean getting that polluted oxygen that's trapped in the pipe back in the room. So we've got a lot of backlog liquids. And I think down below as well, yeah, that's the liquid that's being collected. It's still being collected. We've got five pumps bringing that in. We need to get that all consolidated and then, well, filtered out and all clean sorted. Oxygen coming from these two. So that top one, the top electrolysis station is for the ammo suits. The bottom one is for the base. Um, but the base itself is going to need a lot more moving forward because we are now getting many, many more duplicates. Over on this map, I have got them ferns trying to chuck some oxygen out of the carbon dioxide that is down there. Uh, but they're struggling because of the pressure as well. So the pressure is building up dramatically. I'm wondering actually whether it is those... Yeah, I think it was my fault. I think it's the lumber generators. 
because there is nothing else that creates carbon dioxide other than the duplicates, but nowhere near that much. No chance. Um, and a few of them are getting stressed more so than I've got massage tables for. So I'm going to put a room in and hopefully I can make this room. If I link it up and close it up, I can turn this into a massage room clinic as well, which means that the massage uh, process will be quicker. And just to try and help with morale on this asteroid, I'm going to throw down whatever I can in terms of wallpapers that I can afford on this map using the resources that we have in abundance. Uh, five colours there, which is sort of browns and greens. I mean, it could be worse, I suppose. So I am going to fill up. That's the recreational room, the bedrooms, the bathrooms. We'll try and fill those up, all with a bit of tiling. That'll do. They'll get to that when they can. Recreation room blue. That's a nice blue, but that's from the cobalt, right? So we knew that. Waste a bit of cobalt, don't it? Then shooting over back home, we can see we have problems with the fertilization of the mushrooms and that is the lack of ability. So they need slime. Slime is what you fertilize mushrooms with. We have 60 tons of it. So the reason it's not getting there is because the farmers are not getting enough time to do it. And that is probably because I'm setting everything else as level 10 uh, to get stuff done quick and then they don't get the time. So instead, we can automate it. We are moving this farm, remember, but not yet. Uh, and we need the food. We're down to three and a half million. So since I talked about food last, we've lost over a million calories, which I'm quite confident is a valiant amount of food. To automate it, it's nothing too difficult. We can get the shipping pipe in, or the rails as they are, uh, then we just need to connect it to a conveyor belt loader. That will go there to the reciprocal loader. We need then a storage container in there uh, for it to then put them to. Set that higher than everywhere else. And then basically the slime will remain it trapped in this room along with all of the mushrooms. Um, and the when the mushrooms require fertilization, the sweeper will do that for us. Now, while I'm waiting for them to be done, I'm just going to chuck down some pots. We do have some skins. I'm sure I've got other ones, actually. I'm going to take a look when I get a chance to, to, to unlock some more skins. It's nice to have a, a variant in the visuals. Um, so some blue and gold looking pots there. We'll get them in. And they are for the decor plants only. And they can go in our type museum type thing. I think there is actually a museum room. I may need to look and get that working. Um, so we get that benefit as well because I'm, I'm very confident there is a museum uh, room type So I don't I didn't have as many mechanical engineers as I thought I had well one uh, I've now got five and that makes all the difference from uh, building the rails and of course the, the sweepers the rail loaders etc all of them require the mechanical engineer you see the slimes going in there and immediately that that sweepers just done its job um, and has fertilized all of those mushrooms. And again, remember that's temporary, but we can't stop the food source because no my luck, I'll stop the food source, forget about the task at hand, and then everybody starves to death, and that will be an embarrassing end to the, um, well, process. So we need to get those in, otherwise it will just keep looping around and picking them up, dropping them off, picking them up, dropping them off. We need a storage vessel, which I'm going to use sealed ones, I believe they are. Yes, um, and they'll be set to the highest priority, which will be eight or nine, and then it will store it in there and not keep sending it everywhere else. So we did actually use the second rocket pad um, for another rocket. That rocket is just full of artifact holders. Now, I had an idea that it didn't really work, but the idea was I'll just fill it full of artifact holders and then I could send it out to all the different locations and just collect the artifacts and bring them back uh, for my museum. That was the plan. Uh, realistically though, I've actually only got one place I can go. So building this was a bit premature. It didn't need to be done, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. I'm just trying to figure out the best ways to do the various different rocket types. 
One thing that is important here though, and I'm gonna hold back from doing it in the future, is having too many rockets causes you to kill people. And by you, I mean me. Um, if I make too many rockets, I forget whether I've put water in them or more importantly, oxygen. Uh, and forgetting to put oxygen in a rocket tends to kill someone pretty quick. So just as an FYI, make sure you're better than me at multitasking if you're gonna have more than one rocket. It may or may not be fatal. It did come out nice though, so we've got a comfy bed in there. Plenty of plastic, I forgot about that. And I really need to upgrade all of the bedrooms to have comfy beds. Uh, but they take up a lot more space. They take up twice as much space because they're four tiles instead of two. But I will be doing that shortly with how much plastic we've got. It's got its own bathroom. It has got its own mess hall, but it's a bit too small. If I delete the door... Uh, that should count as a mess hall because them extra tiles going down that center there will count as it uh, I'm not sure if I yeah, there you go. I've told it to do it now So deleting that door that should be a mess hall now, right? It is and then the control room is just by itself And I can maybe chuck a statue in there to make it look prettier Again the wallpaper is all diamond because we have a crap ton of diamond. We have many many diamond hatches Many many tons of coal many many even more tons of refined uh, coal because of the oil production so yeah we're fine on them resources we've got diamonds for days not many people can say that right but yeah they're now filling it up with some food so we've got food we need to make sure it's got water we need to make sure it's got oxygen and we're good now sharing a fuel line is a bit complex because if I use the setup I've got where I say send 450 kilos which is to fill the tank it will divide it equally between the two pipes. So what I actually need to do is put the the check valves, the things that count the liquids, I need to put one under each of the rockets and then have the main fuel line just come straight up here. Uh, which I may do at some point. For now though, I can just break the pipe. I don't want the fuel to go in. Deconstructing is really simple and then just build it again if I need it in the future. This of course is for the oxygen, so get the oxygen pipe in there as well, as, lo as well as the liquid pipe. The piping's already been done in the shuttle itself, um, but we just need to get that, that actual resources in there now to fill it up. Just as a caveat to this from a comment that I got, and thank you very much for that. So it turns out the, the way to get the temperature out of them uh, is actually using metal tiles. Now I haven't tried it in this playthrough yet, uh, because when I'm actually playing it had already been finished uh, But I have tested it and it is the case so putting these solid items that are hot uh, On a tile like a metal tile like copper or something will take the heat into the tile You then call the tile and it cools them down rapidly So in the future the base of this will just be all copper tiles or a metal tile And then the cooling loop will go through the tiles not through the air around the items and that will indeed cool them down drastically quicker and that is the full setup now i haven't ripped this out so i will be using it in the future when i clean up the full right hand side of the base uh, and maybe the surface stuff to get the sweeps doing it for me because it's just the easiest way of doing it i'd also like to leave this here so that for the second asteroid uh, when they come through as well through the teleport system they'll come through into this making sure that nothing too hot comes from there either um, and it's just basic to make sure that the stuff going into my base is reasonably temperatured again we do have cooling in there so it's not the end of the world but i like the idea of having that filter in there and i've got the mod to allow me to do it so why not once again it seems that these aren't running not sure why oh they need emptying that's why so i've just increased the priority on them there so these guys are now going to come over and hopefully start emptying them to allow them to continue these guys over here are still having what seems to be a quite a bad day um with the lack of oxygen they're having to hold their breath 90 percent of the time i can't imagine that's fun for anyone but then they're going for a swim in ethanol as well which i mean in reality you're going to be holding your breath and your eyes are going to be melting out your face so let's just give these guys a clap um i killed the first one that got there as daft as it sounds that person that died accidentally when they arrived and actually 
if you remember, the reason they died was because they stayed in the exhaust of the rocket and burnt to death. Maybe they knew this was going to happen and did that on purpose. It makes sense because now these guys are holding the breath and having their face melted off by ethanol for the last six days. So be as it may, I do feel a bit bad for them. But for now, I'm going to leave them because why not? And we are at the end of the episode, so maybe next episode I'll decide to rescue them. We'll see. Not that it's really a rescue because they've got a rocket that they could leave at any point. But I need them to do a bit more digging than that. I'm not happy with the amount of work they've done, especially five of them when I put in a lot of effort. Yes, their faces are melting, but I did give them beds each. So, Oh, and phones. So they've got beds and phones and their own toilet. So, you know, you've got to give a little to get a little. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome. As always, subscribe for more. Take care. Goodbye.